Hello! In this lecture, you'll learn how to prepare the Rethink database for use. So, first of all, you'll need three things to actually use the Rethink database on C Sharp and on any other languages. You would need three things as well. So, first we have our Rethink DB, the actual database. So we can see that we have official packages. So we have for Ubuntu, OSX, and all of the other systems. But we are, will be doing everything for Windows this time in this course. So we will need to download the Rethink database for Windows and you can see that we have a link here and the link will be provided so you don't have to write that down it will be provided so the thing you do you just click on the install and the download will begin and you'll simply go through the steps of the installer and it will be a very quick and simple installation so, the second part is a lot more complex. You need to install the Redis or Redis, whichever way you want to pronounce it. Now, I'm not going to go into details on this component. It just has to be there. It supports the Rethink database. It's a dependency for it. So, if you want to get into details on that you can read the descriptions you can read the documentation on the redis.io and we are now in the download page however the redis is meant for the linux systems and the downloads are for linux as well so what we need to do we need to go into github and we need to find this url which will of course be provided for you you don't have to search for that on the internet and here you simply download packages and again we are not going to actually download and install but this is a very simple procedure you just download the exe file and you'll start installing and you'll need to set it to run as a service on Windows but you'll see those steps on the actual installer so it's very simple to do now without that it will not run the Rethink database will not run so it's a mandatory component to this whole thing and so once we have these two we need to install the actual client driver as it is called here so you have these official drivers you have one for javascript one for ruby and one for python and then of course for java but we need this c sharp and as you can see it's current community supported drivers so these are a bit risky some are worse some are great but we are going to go for the B Chavez, B Harvest, whichever way you pronounce the name. The other one is perhaps uh, less supported. It has uh, a lesser following. So we are going to go with B Harvest, Chavez, whichever way you want to call it. So we can go to see that on GitHub. However, we will not be downloading it from here, but if we go to wiki quickly, we will see that it is based on Java. So this c -sharp driver has some extra language features and adds some expressiveness over the Java driver. So if we go back to the Rethink database documentation, we will actually be able to go to the API page and if we go to Java the command reference page 
or the API tab here. If we go to Java, you will be able to use this page for reference on the C sharp. Again, some things can look a bit different, but it's pretty much the same. The syntax is very similar. So if you need that reference, you go to the Java, not to Ruby, Python, or JavaScript, but to Java. And now if we go to the Visual Studio, we will set up a simple console project. So what we do here, we do file, new, project, and then we'll go to the .NET Core. We are already in the .NET Core tab here. So we do console project, but if you want, it will work on class library, it will work on web application. So whether you're using MVC or API application or some other one, it will work on all .NET Core applications. It will also work on .NET Framework applications. So basically, whenever you're using C Sharp, you can use this driver. So what we do now, we simply create this application. We don't worry about the name. We just wait for it to load. And we will go back to this GitHub page. And as you can see, it's rethinkdb.driver. We will try to find something similar in the new get packages in the new get package manager in the visual studio so it still is loading here and once the project is created we will see how to find that it's actually very simple to get it you don't need to download it from github that's a bad idea it's, it will waste time and you can make some mistakes miss something so you just right click on the project and you go manage NuGet packages just like that and you go to the browse tab and now we will try to find the rethink db driver as you can see it has already been searched before on this visual studio so we search rethink db dot driver and we go for the first one ignore the other ones you could find some use for that but you go to rethink db dot driver nothing else with that and as you can see it's the same thing that we have on the github and the latest stable version is 2.3.2 to free so you simply click install on that and you have your database driver ready you click OK of course and you click accept and that's it it will install the driver and you will be able to use that and in the next lecture you will actually see how to set up connection and then later you will see how to insert files and then how to use it in other ways. And that concludes our lecture for the day.